What's up guys? It's one third of the sexiest men on YouTube and I'm back with another video and it is going to be a story time. And the story time is going to be over how many injuries I've had in my whole entire life and the stories to it. And the injuries are gonna be like all all types of injuries like concussions too and just all that types of stuff so without further ado I'm gonna start this one off with my stitches I've had five sets of stitches guys five sets ridiculous so the first one the first one is on the top of my head I actually can't tell you that I really did this but the stories that I've been told by my dad says I have. So the story behind this one is that me and my brother, we we were fighting. So as a kid, as a little kid, I I used to beat up on my brother and he's older than me. And he, I mean, he like he didn't he didn't he didn't, he's he never did anything wrong. It was always me. I always wanted to fight people. So my dad was like, "Josh, go get him." I was like, I'll go get him, and and then so he was be he was on the on like standing, but like the window was right behind him. There was a window right behind him, and then the corner kind of stuck out. So like I was running like this and coming at him full speed, and then just smacked that thing like smacked it hard, I guess, uh, according to my dad, and just I got stitches. I don't know how many. I don't even know if it's there. I don't even know if it's a real story. But, I trust my dad, so, yeah, that is the first injury, it's on the top of my head. So, uh, so the next one is going to be right here, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a big little, like, Harry Potter mark right on my forehead. And that happened when I think I was, like, five? five six seven somewhere around there and uh i was wrestling with my friends you know how you be like oh i'm gonna beat you up you be like bring it and so i came at him i was about to slam his stuff and then uh so i ran at him you know like usual like i did as a kid and i tried to come at him like this and he ducked and i turned right over him and the, there was a computer desk right behind this man while we were wrestling while there was computer desk right there who knows but i ran out in full speed tripped over that thing and smacked my head right on the corner of course the corner really the corner i smacked that thing blood was dripping all down my face i went to my mom i was like mom mom my my head is like obviously i didn't have to explain myself because she knew blood was dripping down my eyes all the way to my chin to my neck and just kept going and my mom started freaking out she's like oh my gosh oh my gosh so she ended up drove me to the hospital um uh, with my dad and uh i don't know they were just like really like you can't go one day I, it was like nighttime too so we had to stay there during, during the morning and everything like it was ridiculous and um yeah we stayed there for a while and uh that that's what happened to my uh forehead now uh, got the halo harry potter scar now when i wear glasses i look just like them uh, so that's great so the next one is above my eye i actually got two one right here and one right here uh this one was kind of recent and this one i really don't know the story behind this one but I have a scar to prove this one on what happened. But so I'm just gonna go on to this one. Uh, this one is actually the funniest one out of all of them. So, or yeah, probably the funniest one out of all of them. I was, I was going to play basketball at my friend's house. And granted, my friend's house was literally three to four houses down. So I, that was easy walking distance. I could have made it like in 10 seconds tops if I ran. But my mom was in her car in the passenger seat. My brother just got his permit 
and he was driving. So I was like, you know what would be a good idea? If I hopped on the side when the window's down with the basketball in my hand, put it like this, and they start driving and they drop me off. I was like, great idea. Nothing can happen. Nothing will go wrong. So I did it. And my brother did not know how to drive yet. Like, he was just practicing, getting his hours in. And I hopped in, and he started going. So I don't know what happened after this. Actually, I do. But, like, I don't know what was going through my mom's mind and everything. But I guess my brother started going. And my mom said, stop. And for some reason, when she said stop, she thought it would be a good idea to roll up the window. <laughs> what in your right mind would it be good to roll up the window while I'm there and we haven't even came to a complete stop? Come on, Mom. But that happened and I just like got super scared. I was like, whoa. And then I flew. So I jumped back like that. And uh, it was like jumping on a treadmill that's going super fast, like 12 speed. And I jumped on it, or it didn't jump on it. I, I flew back, and when I hit the concrete, I just went boom, boom, and smacked the side of my head super hard. I got a concussion out of it. It told me I could not go to sleep or I might not wake up. So I was like, that is not a good idea. But yeah, dude, like, guys, that... That hurt pretty bad, but uh, so that that was for my eye or the top of my eye, kind of eyebrow. So I have one on my knee. Um, this one is when I was playing basketball with my cousin Shane, and uh, you know I was talking all that mess because I was like, "Well, I can beat you." I was like, probably like eight, I think, probably eight. And I was like, no way you could beat me. So he was playing, you know, in my grandpa's backyard. And start crossing him up. And, uh, I think I went for a loose ball. I, I think I jumped or he pushed me or something. Like, we both went for it and I fell. And don't ask me why, but my grandpa's grass. Under his grass are bricks. And the grass that stick up. So I go and there's one leading up, of course, just one leading up, and I fall. I hit something, I don't know what it is, but there was bricks under. So I had a good idea, oh, it was probably the bricks that did this. So I had jeans on and I was like, dude, this hurt. And my cousin Shane's like, it's just a scratch. I'm like, it's not just a scratch. Dude, I lift up my pant leg and this thing was open. And when I mean open, guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I saw a four-leaf clover in my in, in there. Like it was weird. I don't know why I remember this or like I don't I don't know. But there was a four-leaf clover. I remember it. So that was one of the coolest experiences I had with stitches, but then my mom took me to the, or my uh, cousin Shane took me to the hospital, got that stitch up real nice, got a permanent scar on my body again. <sighs> Crazy. And now uh, all my, uh, my whole family calls me accident prone now. Pretty disappointing I got that name, uh, but it's whatever. My mom's always like, that's my accident prone child. Like, you know who I am, mama. But, uh, yeah, uh, I also tore my meniscus while wrestling. I bruised my tibia and fibula on my left knee. I know how I explained it like that. What a wussy. Ah, yeah. But, um, what other injuries? Oh, uh, I fractured my wrist playing baseball. I slid into third, and I fractured my wrist. Most wimpiest injury I've ever had. Uh, second wimpiest, actually, because I, I actually broke my hand playing flag football. Guys, I did a nasty spin move on this guy. He pushed me. I tried to catch myself, and it just, like, bent. Uh, did I keep playing? Yes. Was it long after? No. It was, like, two minutes after. I was like, ah, this hurts. 
And then I sat out and I was like, dude, you gotta take me to the hospital. I went to the hospital. Uh, they gave me a little brace and that was the end of that. I hate being in cast, guys. It's, it's so annoying. It prevents you from doing a lot of things, of course, from what you wanna do. Um, but yeah, that is the end of all my injuries. I hope you guys like this story time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on my social media. Hit the bros up on their social media, even though they're not here. But guys, I love you. That was the end of this story time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I am out this day.